Hello YouTubers and welcome back to the Writing 1279 channel. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it. We just got through playing Tic-Tac-Doe and we're going to do a pressure luck showdown. And it's going to be between Brandon Martin. Hello everybody. Hey! Rick, uh, we have my friend Rick. Hey! And myself. I'm going to play and beat them. So it's a three player game. And whatever money we win will go to my account of everything that I won in this special so far. We're going to start with you, Brandon Martin. This is a three spin question. Every year, cherry lovers from all over the world travel to which lower peninsula city in Michigan for the National Cherry Festival? Okay, this question is hard, but here it is. For three spins, uh, Brandon, in which Michigan city is the National Cherry Festival held every year? Is it A, Traverse City, B, Mackinac, or D, or excuse me, rather, a, Traverse City, B, Mackinac, or C, Grand Rapids? I'm going to go ahead and say C, Grand Rapids. He's going with Grand Rapids, okay? So if you get it right, it's three spins, Brandon. All right, Rick, what do you think? You need a question again? Yes, please. In which Michigan city is the National Cherry Festival held every year? Is it A, Traverse City, B, Mackinac, or C, Grand Rapids? I'll go for Grand Rapids. Going from Grand Rapids, huh? Yes. Well, I don't know this question, so I'm going to go with you. I'm going to say Grand Rapids as well. Let's see if okay, folks, let's if it's the right answer. You all scored for question number one. No, it's not well, Grand Rapids. Like we're it. all wrong. Dang it! Now over to you, player two. It's your turn to answer a question first. All right. Well, you'll go first this time, Rick. Spins. It's for three spins. Which of these is the tallest? The Chrysler Building, the Empire State Building, or the Sears Tower? Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to be quiet on this one. All right, all right, Rick, for three spins, which of these buildings is the tallest? Is it A, the Chrysler Building in New York City? Uh, repeat again, A, the Chrysler Building in New York City? B, the Empire State Building in New York City, or C, the Chicago Sears Tower? Chicago Sears Tower. You're going to Chicago Sears Tower. Well, I've, seen player three. I've seen all three of these buildings, by the way. I've never been in any one. Yeah. Been in New York, yeah. yeah, I know it's the Chicago Sears Tower. What do you say, Brandon? You know what the name of the building is now? The Willis Tower. Right. I do too. For question number two. Yeah, that was easy. Everybody so Rick gets three spins and we get one spin each. This question is my, now it's my turn to lead it off. Those three spins are all yours. This may be helping y'all. What is the only food that won't spoil? Oh, this is a hard meat, one. Germ, hardtack, or honey? I think I know this though. What is the only food that won't spoil? Is it A, wheat germ, B, hardtack, or C, honey? I believe the answer is honey. All right, what do you okay, think, Brandon? Well, now it's your turn. Answer the question correctly. I'm going to say honey as well. One spin. Okay, Brandon's going with honey. What do you think, Rick? I'm going with honey as well. I already knew it. All right, player two, for a chance at one spin, yeah. what's your answer? Honey is the most obvious one. I do remember this question. Well, my head's spinning. Let's 
see how you scored on question three. It is, honey. Everybody's so I get three spins, the rest of you get one spin each. And we're going to go on the big board. Okay, player one, and we're going to start with you, Brandon, spins, first, because so you have the least amount of spins with two spins, okay? You're spinning for big bucks, All right. great prizes. So, That's if you have a fear of the whammy, you know you can pass price. the spins to us if you're scared. You know that, right? I know it's Rodney. Okay, so are you going to pass right. those spins or are you going to press your luck? Take a spin or pass? I'm going to press my luck. Good luck to you. Here we go. Stop at five hundred dollars in a spin, Brandon. Good. So you still have two spins left over. Here's your score. You have five hundred dollars now. What do you want to do? He's going. Here we go. Stop at two hundred fifty dollars. Nice. To your right. That takes you to seven hundred fifty dollars. You have one spin Here's left. What do you want to do? One. Let's press my luck. All right, go ahead. No whammies. No whammies. Stop at a lawnmower. Nice. Trim and tidy with this terrific self-propelled lawnmower. It's valued at seven hundred and fifty. And that lawnmower is worth seven hundred fifty dollars, Brandon Martin. So you got fifteen hundred dollars in cash. Good job, you avoid the whammy. Score, player one. Now we go to Ricky with four spins. Player two. What are you going to do? Press your luck or pass the? He's pressing his luck. Here we go. Stop at two thousand dollars. Nicely done. That's a good spin. That's the highest one on the board for the first round. Here's your score, player two. All right, you got two thousand dollars. Are you uh, pressing or are you passing? Right. You've got three spins and no winnings. Go ahead. Then he said, oh, okay, he said stop. $250. Good job. $250 to your total. Alright, Rick, you have $2250. You have two. You have two spins left. He's going good. Stop at another two fifty. That's two hundred fifty dollars to your total. Okay, you have twenty five hundred dollars, Rick. You have one more spin to go. Here's What's your, your desire? Score, player two. I'll pass it. It goes to me because I'm the next player. Okay, player three. And I got five spins. Let's see if I can get some big um money right away. Here we go. Big bucks. No whammies and stop. Stop at seventeen fifty. Picked up one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. So I'm in second place. Here's I have four spins to go, and I'm gonna go again. Big bucks, no whammies. Give me in a, give me a ham sandwich. Feel the noise and stop. At a bicycle. Hope you're feeling fit. You'll be riding home on your new 10-speed racing bike, valued at Woo! 200. And so that bicycle is worth 250 dollars, and I have 2,000 dollars, and I'm still in second place. Here's your score, player. You three. know I have to go for it. Let's deal with this. Big bucks, no whammies, and stop it. Stop at five hundred dollars. There's five hundred dollars. So I'm tied up with Rick with twenty five hundred dollars. Here's your score, player three. I have two spins to go. I'm going Rick, one more time. Two Big bucks, no whammies, and stop. I knew it. I hit a whammy. <laughs> Mm. 
man. I was contemplating on stopping too. All right, here we go. One spin to go. I have to go for it. Here we go. Big buck. Stay the hell away from me. Whammy and stop. And that was another whammy. Dag it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of those whammies in the next round. All right, so that's the end of that round. So Rick is leading with $2,500. So we're going to start with you, Brandon, with the question, okay? This is for three spins. Starlight, Fernie, or Crystalline. We all know how beautiful snowflakes are, with no two quite alike. What are they? Alright, this is for three spins, Brandon. Where are snowflakes? Where are snowflakes? Is it A, frozen raindrops, B, super cooled condensed water vapor, or C, frozen cloud crystals? Can you repeat the answers for me again? You're breaking up just a bit. Yeah, A, frozen raindrops, B, super cooled condensed water vapor, or C, frozen cloud crystals? I'm going to say C. Frozen cloud crystals, okay. What do you think, uh, Rick? I'm going to say cloud crystals as well. Y'all going to say frozen cloud crystals. Uh-huh. Player three, it's your turn. Answer the question correctly, and you've got yourself another spin. Do I go with them, or do I go my way? It's up to you. It is up to me, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with frozen cloud crystals as well. I don't think it's frozen raindrops. Rain is rain, ain't it? No, we're all wrong. We're all wrong. I'm going to stop going with Brandon Martin. Alright, Rick, you're up next. Ohio, what did you ask for if you want a dog? Well, I think he knows this one, Rick does. He should know this one. Okay, this is for three spins. At Fido's Fast Food Eatery in Toledo, Ohio, what should you ask for if you want a doggy bag? Is it A, a take with bag, B, a child bag, or C, a people bag? Well, since Fido's the name of a dog, I gotta go with a child bag. You're going with a child bag. I wonder why. You're in, and you live in Ohio, don't you? Answer the question correctly, and you've got yourself another spin. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go with a child bag as well. What do you think, uh, Brandon? You paying attention? Your chance to answer that question correctly now for one spin. A child bag. He's going with the child bag as well. Let's see who's right. Well, now that the answers are all in, let's see if you got it right. No, it's not a child bag. We're all wrong again. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see. We got to get some spins here. Get a three spins for you if you answer this correctly. We got to get some I know. Serious is also called the what? All right, Serious is also called the what? The Dog Nova, the Dog Star, the Dog Constellation. Serious. I'm gonna go with the Dog Cons, the Dog Cons. You know what? Now I'm in the dilemma here. Is it Dog Nova, Dog Star, or Dog Constellation? I'm gonna say Dog Constellation. What do you think, Brain and Martin? Paying attention. Chance to answer that question correctly now. Serious is called what? Is it a, a uh, is it a a dog nova? Be a dog star or a dog constellation? Well, I'm gonna say dog dog constellation. What do you think, uh, Rick? I'm kind of nervous on this one. What do you think? 
We're all going with Constellation. Now, if this is wrong, we're going right to the third round. Because there's no spins. Okay, now let's see how many spins you picked up that time around. No, well, we're going right to the third round. No spins in this round. What's going on around here? No one got a question right. So that means no spins and no big four. Better luck in the That next sucks, round. man. Those was hard questions. We're going right to the third round. Hey, you round three coming right up. Boy, this is getting That's embarrassing. What? On your mark. You get to answer first. Now you need to really think about this spins. one. Alright, this is for three spins, Brandon Martin. On a golf green, on a golf green, what's the required diameter of the cup or hole? Is it A, four and a half inches, B, four inches, or C, four and a half inches? I'm going to say B, four inches. You're going four inches, okay. What do you think, uh, Rick? Yeah. Um, what's the required diameter of a um, of a of, of a cup or hole in golf? Is it a four and a half inches? Excuse me, four and one fourth inches. Excuse me, four and one fourth inches. B four inches or C four and a half inches? I'm gonna go with my gut and say four and a half. You're going four and a half. I'm going with four and a half, too. Let's get a move on here. There's one spin for you if you get it right. We need to get some spins. That was embarrassing in the last round. We're into the home stretch. Let's see how many spins. It better be four and a half Question inches. One. No, we're all wrong again. All to me. Oh, Dang. Are we going to not play this round, too? Back to you, Rick. Which president was born on the 4th of July? Was it John Quincy Adams, Gerald R. Ford, or Calvin Coolidge? Another toughie. All right. For three spins, um, Rick, which president was born on the 4th of July? Is it A, John Quincy Adams? B. Gerald R. Ford or C. Calvin Coolidge? Gerald Ford. You're going with Gerald Ford. I'm going with you. Player three, let's get a move on here. There's one spin for you if you get it right. I'm going Gerald Ford as well. What do you so, think, Brandon? You know let's have your answer for a chance to win a spin. I agree with you guys to say Gerald Ford. Come on, let us get some spin here. To get big bucks. So let's see how many you all picked up that time. No, it's not Gerald Ford. It's round three. Will Rick come out to be the winner with $2,500? Is that all we're going to have this game? We need an easy question. If you decided to go see the Taj Mahal, what sort of money? All right, I got this one. What type of currency would you use at the Taj Mahal? Is it A, rupees, B, renjet, or C, rent yen? I know it's rupees because it's in India, rupees. Yeah, I knew that one. Going with yeah, rupees. Yeah, so, Y'all all saying rupees. Y'all sure? Yes. If we miss this one, you know Rick wins the game. No, I think I'm sure it's Rick. Answer for a chance to pick up one spin. All right, here we go. That's question three. All Man, done. so how many spins? You're sucking you it up now. Let's find out. Yes, Rupee. There we go. Scores. Good work, team. Alright, we're going to start with you, uh, Rick, because you have the most money, but you have one spin to work with, and $2,500. What do you want to do with that spin? I got to play it. Alright, you got to play it. Here we go. Good luck. Money, money, any kind, I'll take it. Stop. 
Y'all better wear me, Ricky. You have no spins there, so we'll see what happens. Stranger things has happened. Player two, you just scored your first I'll tell you what, if we all don't get no dollars on this one, we're going to rematch. Because I don't like us winning with nothing. But I'm going to go ahead. Three spins, I'm going for it. Big bucks, no whammies. Stay the heck away from me, whammy, and stop. Another whammy. Shoot. That's your third whammy, player three. Watch out. I'm going to go anyway. Here we go. Big bucks, no whammies, and stop. Damn it, I'm out of the game. No, can you believe it? That's your fourth whammy, and you're out of the game. That is embarrassing. Well, okay, Brandon... Player one, it's your turn. Now, here's the situation. All you got to do is uh, get some money. Okay. If you get money, and no now, if you get money and you avoid the whammy, you you'll win the game. Pass. You could pass your spin to Rick, and he can take if he want to. And if... um. And if he wham beats, you win the game with fifteen dollars. What do you want to do, Brandon? You know what? Let's press my luck. Good luck to you. And uh, no whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Stop at five thousand dollars. You're a winner, Brandon Martin. Good job. Six thousand five hundred dollars. That's all it was for you to win. Hey, congratulations, So we're adding six thousand five hundred dollars to my my one thousand subscriber special winnings. That is crappy, man. Let me find my book. I will give y'all a recap later on the next video how much I made on uh, the um, 10, um, the 1,000 subscriber special. But for right now, guys, this is Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, take care everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all.